Hello again my students and today I'm going to point out some guidelines for you for the UI design or the user interface design without uh, any moments uh, to waste. I'm going to start with the first guideline that I'm going to uh, present to you which is number one which is know your user. Well I already mentioned this uh, from one of my previous uh, lectures so Obsess over customers when given the choice between obsessing over comp competitors or customers. Always give your focus on the customers. Always. And start with customers and work backwards. Your user goals are your goals. So learn them. Restate them. Repeat them. Know them. Then learn about your user's skills and experience. What are they capable of? And what are their age? Where do they live? Where do they work? What are their habits? What are their likes and dislikes? Learn them thoroughly. And what are their cultures? If it's in a foreign country or in a different custom. Now, and also learn what do they need as well. And then find out what interfaces they like and sit down and watch how they use them. Do not get carried away trying to keep up with the comp competition by mimicking trendy design styles or adding new features. By focusing on your user first, you'll be able to create an interface that lets them achieve their goals. Try to pay attention to patterns. Users spend the majority of their time on interfaces other than your own, uh, such as Facebook, MySpace, uh, Bloggers, Bank of America. Uh, schools, universities, news, pay, news websites, or social media websites such as Instagram, uh, images such as Tumblr, etc. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. That's one important factor that you need to know. Those interfaces may solve some of the same problems that users perceive within one of those that are creating. By using familiar UI patterns, you will need uh, your help your users feel what at home. Uh, graphics comparing an email in inbox with co-tweets or inbox co-tweets uses a familiar UI pattern found in email applications as well. So always pay attention pay attention to patterns, their behavior, uh, the things that that people do, their habits, their way of living or way of life or how they react to, to a certain stimuli, or how they react to certain uh, situations, scenarios, or what are their daily routines, and whatnot. And then next on our list, this is also an important guideline. So stay consistent. The more users' expectations prove right, the more they will feel in control of the system, and more they will like it. Users need consistency. They need to know once they learn to do something, they will be able to do it again. Language, layout, and design are just a few interface and elements that they need consistency. A consistent interface enables your users to have a better understanding of how things will work, increasing their efficiency. So give the relation between shapes, between buttons, between commands, between actions, and the contents it it has tried to give it some meaning now next on our list you have to use visual hierarchy so designers can create normancy out of chaos they can clearly communicate ideas through organizing and manipulating of words and pictures images uh, designs and shapes so in web design your interface in a way that allows the user to focus on what is most important when you're trying to create a social medium look into what is important for the user the size the color the placement of each element must work together in cohesion and harmony create a clear path to understand your for them to understand your interface a clear hierarchy will go great lengths in reducing the appearance of complexity or the appearance of something of overload in uh, complexity uh, confusion that will create within your user so you must create the simplicity so that it will be pleasing and ease to the eyes of the user so 
on our next uh, guideline here. You must provide or get feedback. Your interface should all at times speak to your user when his or her actions are both right and wrong or simply misunderstood. Always inform your users of actions, change in state and errors, or exceptions that occur. Visual clues or cues or simple messaging can show the users whether his or her actions have led to the expected result. Screenshot of this will be unnecessary as well. So, providing feedback is not a bad thing. If it's a negative feedback, it's also a good thing for you. You'll be able to save the trouble and time of knowing whether or not the customer is having a bad experience of the product or the medium that you're trying to use. So you'll be able to enact on it and improve upon it. Now, on our next on our list, empower your user. Once a user has become experienced with your interface, reward them. Give them treats. Him or her to take off the training wheels. The breakdown of complex tasks into simple steps will become cumbersome and distracting. Providing more abstract ways like keyboard shortcuts to accomplish the task will allow your design to get out of the way. So speak their language. Remember, there are different audiences in the world. Not all of them are the same. There are those who, are, who speak in a very simple language such as toddlers. So you must cater to the language of toddlers. If they're a little bit of a teenage language, try to cater to the teenagers. If they're slightly adults, cater to adults. If they're sophisticated or intelligent, sophisticated intelligent language they must get. So now if you think every pixel as well, you must consider the other elements as well as the layers. If you think every pixel, every icon, every typeface matters, then you also need to believe every letters matter. Getting real all interfaces requires some level of copywriting. Keep things conversational, non-sensational, uh, not sensational, that is. Provide clear and concise labels for actions to keep your messaging simple. Your users will appreciate it. Once the message is simple, your users will appreciate it because they won't hear you. They will hear uh, what they like, what experience they'll be emulating, which is a positive experience. Now, lastly, always have this tendency to our behavior to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. This is a key principle in UA design or user interface design. It is often said when developing interfaces that you need to fail fast and iterate them, correct them. When creating a UI, you will make mistakes. Don't worry. That's part of your UI UX venture as a designer. Just keep moving forward and remember to keep your UI out of the way and create new and better UI, better designs. Learn from the mistakes and keep moving forward. Now that I managed to indicate all of the lessons that I just uh, suggested to you and we managed to cover a lot. I'll see you in the next video and happy designing.